God, look at the space now, dude. Pretty insane. I mean, it looks, looks great. Hey, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be making a car mount for Craig's car for his SUV. As you can see, he has to lay the bike down on his side to be in here. And if I ride with him, we actually put a towel over the one top and lay my bike on top. So today, we're going to be making a mount that goes across the bottom to be able to stand both bikes up without the front wheels on. So let's see it. All right, the parts we're going to be using to make this mount is a floor flange, a half inch, half inch T flange. What's that thing called? T fitting, black T, and these three half inch threaded nipples. Yeah, I said nipples to connect it all. So let's see how it's done. Ready? Voila! There it is. And we're going to mount these onto the board to put the bikes through. Let's measure the area and see how much of the board we need to cut. We're looking to be about 56. I'm measuring the board at 56 inches and cutting it there with a circular saw. Alright folks, always remember to put on your safety goggles. I'm not sure, but I think I might need a new blade. Still got all my fingers. Let's go see if this thing fits. Next, we are positioning the board in the SUV. All right, let's put the bikes on there and see where they need to be located. We need to line them up so the cockpits aren't smashing into each other. It's a tight gap clearance, but it works. All right. Well, yours be on enough. That's what I was looking at. Because the thing's going to be raised up a little bit, too. We wanted to make sure that the mounts were going to be properly aligned. So there. we put a bike in each mount and marked the holes. Now we need to assemble the second mount and fasten each one to the board. Now I'm using this because I'm not worried about the threads. Right, I'm also going to be using these wood screws to put them into the board. Next, I'm just lining up the mounts and making sure that they're straight. Now we're going to try to use this shrink wrap to go ahead and cover the threads here, it's just to give it a little bit more padding when it's up against the fork and sliding it in and out. Yeah, that's almost too big, but I'm thinking that maybe it might shrink on top of it, you know? And you might think that this is my wife's hair dryer, but it's actually mine for this beard of mine. Doesn't seem to be shrinking it. Hair dryer didn't work. Let's try this torch. Now maybe I'm just weird, but I love the way it looks when the rubber is shrinking. Here I wanted to make sure that the maxwell would still fit through after the shrink wrap was applied. And here is the final product. So what do y'all think? They seem to work pretty well. I'm not sure how much it costs. Like, I think less than twenty dollars for everything. I think they were like each nipple was. I don't know. I'll put the prices up there. This new mount's gonna be awesome. Loading up the bikes now. We won't look like such fools laying on our bikes on top of each other and looking super unprofessional, like we don't know what we're doing. And it's actually a lot quicker to load these up with it like this. There's plenty of room now to put our gear on the sides, coolers in the middle. And we can really pack this thing compared to having it all laying on top of each other now. So yeah, I appreciate you watching the video, seeing how we made these mounts. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see some other trail videos and more mountain bike related videos, think about hitting the subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you next time.